Hey, you leave the doors unlocked, you never know who's going to show up. Sam Roberts. Yeah, just let myself in. <laughs> How are you, brother? Good, thanks. There's always pizza here at Indy 88. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. Every time. As long as you do the dishes, you can take oh, whatever you want. Yeah, I didn't do, pay my dues the last time, so they had the rack ready for me to go <laughs> when I walked in. Uh, welcome back. New record on the horizon here in, I mean, just weeks now, right? Coming up fast. The Adventure of Ben Blank. Now, in a quick Google search... Ben Blank once did the graphics for CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Is that right? Is that who we're talking about? No, but it is now. <laughs> he just became the hero, the unknowing hero of his own story. Walter Cronkite said he was essential to the CBS Evening right? News. Yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> who is Ben Blank? What is this? Uh, well, I mean, I was, I was toying with the idea of, I don't know if you remember Garth Brooks's Chris Gaines period. <laughs> Absolutely. Where are the bodies? Exactly. So I was sort of, I was toying with the idea of sort of creating an alter ego uh, a few years back and just putting out music but not really telling anybody that and just to see what would happen just to see if if people would respond differently if there wasn't any sort of I don't know what you want to call it name or reputation <laughs> sure. or history attached to something and I, I, the idea was this guy Ben Blank and I would just put out music under this name but I kind of realized that I can't I can't really write music from a from a hypothetical standpoint it has to come it has to come from a deeper place for me so I decided instead to use this name, this idea of Ben Blank as a sort of, I guess, a tragic hero of, of his own story, but that he starts from scratch. Like, he, he decides to shed himself of his history, shed himself of whatever he's done in the past that's sort of tied him down to who he is in that moment, and he just sort of leaves it all behind and goes off and fills his life in with new things. And I, I sort of got really attached to the idea of that that you can always reinvent yourself no matter how far along the path you've come. You know, it's so interesting that that's what your answer would be because the word I have written down here under Sam Roberts' band is reliability. It just seems like, I mean, we've known each other for a very long time. Your first record, you were playing gigs and stuff for Station I Worked At. It just seems like when someone says, hey, do you want to go see the Sam Roberts band? Hey, there's new Sam Roberts. It's like, hell yeah. It's going to be new. It's going to be fun but it's going to be something I know that I'm going to like. So the idea of stripping away the name brand recognition from that is really interesting. You think about it like that. Yeah, it seems counterintuitive yeah. to making a life in music. But I, still, you know, I think there's always that thing where, yeah, you, you sort of depend on this reputation that you build for yourself in order to keep going. And it's where that balance sort of lies between, is that, is that pulling you back from, from doing something that you think is important, you know, whether musically or the way you live. And, and that's a sort of juggling act that I think you sort of have to uh, cope with or live through your, your entire life. And, f and, f and finding that place inside yourself as a songwriter especially where you can still f travel on new ground. And, and every record, that to me is the sort of the essence of it. And that's the, that's the real challenge of it. But that's also what makes you want to keep going. The record out October 20th, the tour to follow, uh, February 9th, history here in Toronto. Uh, tour in Canada in February. Mm -hmm. Whose idea was that, and why do they hate you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of realized back in the day that if you, could, if you could survive it, then no other band in their right mind wants to be out on the road at that time. <laughs> so if you want to go and have the sort of the pick of the venues on the best nights, you know, it's not easy to get a venue in Toronto on a Thursday sure. or Friday night uh, in the summer. But man, February, it's all yours. <laughs> so especially, in, you know, Alberta and... And, and some of the colder spots, uh, if you're willing to stomach it, then... It's going to be worth it, too. And that's the thing with music. Warms you up from the inside out, just like whiskey. Yeah, it's just the first few songs. <laughs> I was saying, you're, you know, you kind of have to fake it a little bit because you're cold and you're, everybody's tense, you know, and the crowd has come in from the cold and they've just gone through coat check or whatever it is. But, but then you sort of try to recreate the summer in the middle of February and it all comes together. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. It's going to be a good time, though. And the album art for the record, who designed that? It's absolutely stunning. Uh, well, I will, you know, I hope she might be listening. Her name's Andrea Gustafson, and uh, she just has an amazing mind. And uh, to me, that's one of the best parts of making a record is, is giving it over to a visual artist and having them listen to it. We always give them the, the full album so that they can sort of digest it and, and transform it into something that you can look at instead of just listen to. And I'm always shocked because I'm, I have no talent for that whatsoever. Yeah, I, so, I can't it, see the visual space. It doesn't make any all, sense, you know? no. And so when, when someone like Andrea comes back with this incredible image and you realize that the music that you make has 
taken on a sort of life in somebody else's mind now and and they've brought a completely new dimension that you didn't see to it so yeah it's a, it's I, I think it's beautiful too so thanks for saying that yeah it's a, just that sort of pencil drawing of his hands and the outline of his face and then this yeah. universe that exists within his face yeah um, when people see it they're going to be blown away october 20th the adventures of ben blank is available and the latest song is projection which anything about projection you want to throw to before we play the tune uh, yeah, I, I think it's a song in in a day and age where where it's hard to figure out what what is fact and what is fiction. We all deal with that every day, and I think this was an attempt in in song form to sort of reconnect people to what we all know is sort of the basis of being a human being, so that we can sort of find that common ground again, and then and then push forward from there. It's nice to be back. Projection, the Sam Roberts Band on Indie eighty eight. Thanks, Sam. Thanks.